Oh, oh my Lord, it is absolutely freezing. Tell you what, I'm wearing like four layers and I'm just so bad with the cold. Throw me up in Darwin in 40 degree heat in a tin shed with no insulation on the roof. And whilst I'll be sweating buckets, I will be totally sweet. Anywho, welcome to the next episode, guys. Um, this, one's a, this one's a bit of a random one because last, I think it was last Sunday, I woke up pretty hungover, I should add. And for some reason, I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace, as you do, and I came across a really, really cheap, late classic that I straight away fell in love with the idea of having. And now, having a late classic has always been something that I love to do. I love to build a late classic, but... I obviously had a number of things in front of that that I wanted to prioritise, like building the two-door that I already had. The series was another one that's just randomly stumbled across that I was just like, oh, that's epic. Would love to do a series build and do something unique with it. And when this one popped up, I thought that's fantastic because I've been using this every day as a runner to work and running into town to pick up all my supplies and doing all the logistics, and I'm just absolutely clocking the Ks with it. It's coming close to, oh, I think just under 95,000 Ks since rebuilding it up in Darwin, which is just ridiculous how quickly that's gone. And I, yeah, I just need something that's easy to run around in, ideally an auto, and something that can warm up to temperature really, really quickly, like a petrol V8 is, for example, not a bad idea. And so I just, I just more or less jumped on this idea of picking up this car. And look, as far as the details go, I know absolutely zilch. I know that it is a runner. It's registered. Interior is slightly shot. Aside from that, oh, it's idles rough. However, drives perfectly fine. So that's a set parameters I have to go with in terms of packing tools tonight to be able to get it home. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, you're mad, why the hell would you do that? A lot of the, I think the biggest thing I'm largely attracted to when it comes to things like this is purely just the adventure and particularly the unknown. Like genuinely, I know that I'll get up there by flight I'll see the car and that's about it. The rest is just a blank slate as to how we're going to get it home or what problems we're going to incur or not incur. So, yeah, it's getting pretty late. It's 11 o'clock. We fly out first thing tomorrow morning and, yeah, we need to sort out what tools we need or don't need. Roll out the swag, put everything inside of that, roll it back up as tight as possible, and then hopefully, yeah, make it back home. Let's do it. Oh my lord, what an absolute ordeal. Thought I bloody lost the swag, but finally got it. It was pretty much one of the last ones to come out in the oversized bag area. So now just walking over to meet my friend who's coming and picking us up from the uh, airport. There we are, just waiting for Siraj to come pick us up, which I can see a defender in the distance, so there he is. Hey. 
All right, let's go. How's this rig? Hey. Fucking dusty as hell this morning. Had a bit of a big night with my mate last night. However, we got into a bit of a pickle last night because I drove back to my mate's place here in Brisbane and the alternator light started flashing and then all of a sudden the, um, yeah, I just started experiencing a whole heap of issues. The light started dimming um, and then the car just started coughing up and wanted to sort of die on me so I rolled in thankfully with the help of Sai and he um he sort of jump started us when I when I lost a bit of charge and then rolled in here and identified obviously the problem to be an alternator and then luckily <laughs> the owner that I bought the car from uh had one sitting at home so he bench tested it and then bought it all the way over to where I was which is where I am which is like a good hour away from where he is so yeah absolute legend stoked that he um was able to help out and um yeah we're now just about to install it and see if that obviously resolves the issue i did check the battery and it was down to i think it was like nine nine volts at one stage um and i checked it whilst the car was running so it clearly wasn't getting any charge so that's definitely the issue and hopefully that's the only thing that's the issue. And then we can sort of get back on the road and start driving. There's a new alternator. Well, a good second hand one. Just put that down there. So we'll just have to take this bolt here off. And this one down there. And undo the cables at the back of it. Whack this one back in. Plug in the cables and hopefully she's all good. And then get the battery back from from size who uh, charge it up for us last night. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Game on.
So there you have it, guys. A relatively successful trip overall, aside from the alternator issue and the and the heater hose issue, which I found later on was just um, had a minor crack on it, and once it pressurised, it just obviously bled out pretty badly from there. So I brought it back for, to the shop, and I've had a spare hose just sitting here, so I whacked that in, and. Other than that, I really haven't done anything. I've been driving the car for the past six weeks and it's given me no issues at all. I've put just under three and a half thousand kilometers on it and it's been absolutely flawless. So pretty stoked with it and happy to just get the case on this and not on the green one where, you know, around the city, it's just an absolute, uh, or around city and town, it's, yeah, a huge amount of wear and tear on something that previously designed it for the open road. So I guess the plan with this is right now really use it as a daily and then when I get the opportunity roll into the workshop and go absolutely ham on it. I loved the grand touring aspect of it so I think that's what I'm going to stick with is sort of keep it a similar vibe but probably a, a totally different um, drivetrain altogether. So won't go into that one in too much detail, I've got to get back to work, but um, yeah, really excited for this project and was just keen to, keen to get away, use the opportunity to um, to meet some, meet some friends that I've known over social media for such a long time and it was just good to finally meet them face to face and yeah, take a couple of days off and go and, go and do a bit of traveling. So anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next episode and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of exciting things coming up, so we'll see you soon.